Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And today we have a very special video for you guys. For those of us who have been looking forward to Hummingbird's Mega Live Imaging, kind of the first look at some of these sonar images. Yeah, you heard that right. We have some first looks at what this Hummingbird Mega Live Imaging is going to look like. But first, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you haven't already, right now is a great time to subscribe to the channel. I do all sorts of fishing related content from how to's to fishing technology reveals to comparisons and to anything else you guys want to see. Make sure you let me know in the comments below. But make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So as most of us know, Hummingbird has announced that they're coming out with their mega live imaging way back in November. Uh, Russell Marine Products hey, gave me an info drop on Facebook. So we all got to see it and I made a video on that. And if this is the first time you've heard hearing of Mega Live Imaging, you might want to check that video out. I'll have it up in the cards above. But this video is going to be about what the sonar is going to look like. I do have some clips of what it should look like. So uh, we'll base that here in a minute. But for those of you who recently got an email that the Mega Live Imaging is probably going to be delayed until late May, I do apologize to you guys for that. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. I'm not on the pre-order list. I don't actually have any Hummingbird units, but I am pretty excited to see what Hummingbird is coming out with. So I really wanted to get these clips out to you so you are no longer looking blindly at the Mega Live Imaging and you can make an educated decision on whether or not you want to pre-order the Mega Live Imaging. But these images are not exactly directly from the Mega Live Imaging Transducer. They are from a much similar transducer called Oculus. I'm going to put both images up here so we can make direct comparisons of the transducers. Obviously both transducers have the flat sided part of the transducer and then they both have the half circle that is about halfway maybe a quarter of the way up on the transducer. So they both look extremely similar and I believe Hummingbird has been working with Blueprint Sub-C on this transducer whether they purchased the technology or have made a deal with them, I don't exactly know, but the transducers look so much alike that it's kind of hard to ignore these guys and their technology similarities. So Blueprint Subseas actually has some video footage of their Oculus transducer, and I fully expect Hummingbird to at least look as good as these images that we're about to look at, if not better. Now, if you don't believe these two transducers look similar, I'm going to throw up the Active Target and the Live Scope transducers. That way we have a comparison of all four. Obviously, the Active Target and the Live Scope look very similar to one another versus the, the Oculus and the Mega Live Imaging. They look similar, but they don't really look similar across. So I think their technologies aren't exactly the same. And that's the whole basis of this video is that, hey, this transducer looks almost the same as this one. So if you're not really buying into that, well, maybe you're not gonna buy into these images either. Now, without any further ado, let's take our very first look at what I believe Mega Live Imaging is going to look like, if not better. Here we go. Here's our very first view of the Oculus Sonar. As you can see here, about one meter out, we have a school of fish. This looks more like a perspective mode view to me. The angle here looks to be about 60 degrees, so pretty narrow. But look at this school of fish. You can see, see their little bodies flexing. You're able to see them actually curve, which is actually really, really cool. This is a pretty large school of fish, and you, you can differentiate between different fish pretty easily. But this uh, school of fish does seem to be kind of wandering in the middle of nowhere. And you can kind of see the bottom right there about two meters out a little bit, which is really cool too. So that obviously looked more like a perspective view mode, which is kind of angled out in front. Um, I'm not really impressed with the viewing angle, but there are other viewing angles that are wider. I'm not really sure why yet, so I hadn't really dug into why these views are a little bit different but 
I'm really impressed with the first set of images here. I'm not exactly sure, you know, how they had it mounted and all that good stuff. I do know that they are using a computer to get the readings off of the sonar and power it up. So I don't know about the processing power of the computer that they were using and all that stuff, but I do know that they were using a computer. I did see a video on that. So using a computer versus using a fish finder head unit, I don't know the difference there. Maybe that's where Hummingbird is actually trying to help them do. Now let's get on to the next clip. In this clip, we're following a pretty large fish. and you know, We have a 120 degree angle there, it looks like. And we're following this fish pretty closely, it looks like. Enough to make him move around. Look at how much ground we're covering. You can see the bottom, and there he takes off. He's gone. So that was a little bit of a shorter clip, but it's uh, very close up, very close to a fish. And you can see the details of the fish pretty well. They were kind of following pretty closely and spooking him and then until he finally took off. But if you go back and look at that clip one more time, you can actually see the bottom and actually see some of the grooves and going on, maybe some beds in there. I'm not really sure you can see rocks if you really looked carefully, but you can actually see the bottom pretty well. Once again, I believe this is also in a perspective mode, not a whole lot in the down mode. I'm gonna see if I can find one for you guys up next. This clip is a 60 degree down view. So you can see this fish here in all of its details. You can see the fins very clearly. It's not just one large blob. This is about nine feet away. So that gives us a perspective of kind of what the down view may look like. Obviously this is a 60 degree angle. We already know what Hummingbird told us that they were gonna give us. So they have their game plan going there. But that was our down view image. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And overall, myself, I'm actually pretty impressed with these images. And if Hummingbird is actually going to give us this kind of product, I am more than happy to spend my money on this. Now, obviously, I want them to make sure that they give us the angles and the ranges that they promised, like they did in the info sheet that I covered in my very first video. And if they don't do that, well, that's kind of sad. But uh, I don't want these 60 degree angle down views but I do want this kind of detail from my Mega Live Imaging unit. And hopefully they can support all the units that they promised as well, because this was done on a computer, a runoff of a computer, so that does concern me, because computers have an impressive amount of processing power where head units may not have nearly as much. But I believe that Hummingbird is still working through these problems, which is exactly why we're getting another delay. It could be because of the production, uh, which wouldn't surprise me either uh, because of all the issues I've had in manufacturing, the production issues we've had, just getting supplies in just to make the product. So I'm not exactly sure why they're delaying it. Maybe you guys have a little more info. But hey, if you guys really like this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you're impressed with these images or whether or not you think this is all hocus pocus and you don't really think Mega Live Imaging is gonna look like this. I'm just here trying to deliver the information that you guys have actually uh, shown me. A couple of fans have shown me these images and I kinda wanted to put it out there for everyone to see and make their own judgments on Mega Live Imaging. But myself personally, I'm pretty impressed and hopefully this is the kind of product we get. Also, I want you guys to make sure you check out uh, Blueprint Subsea's website. They have uh, many more of these videos on their website. I'll have that in the description below, so make sure you check out their website and their Oculus Sonar. Uh, they did provide these videos for me to use. I was able to download them. So hopefully they continue to allow, to allow me to use these. But make sure you guys check them out, watch all their content, look at the sonar, look at the frequencies, and make your own judgments about what Hummingbird Mega Live Imaging is going to look like. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. But like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.